Hello, I'm Chief Justice Mark Cady of the Iowa Supreme Court. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me to learn more about the judicial branch budget and the need for your help to protect the essential services our courts provide to Iowans. Most cases filed in Iowa courts do not make headlines, but each case is critically important to the Iowans involved. In addition to the occasional high-profile criminal case and civil legal disputes, there are hundreds of cases filed every day involving families in crisis, victims seeking protection, abused and neglected children and troubled youth, all turning to the courts for help during desperate times of need. As attorneys, I'm sure you realize that the constitutional and statutory responsibilities we are required to carry out requires a well-qualified and committed people. As a matter of fact, 96% of our total budget covers personnel costs. We have clerks of court and clerk staff in all 99 counties who are the face of our courts. They process all the documents filed with the courts and collect fines. Even with electronic filing, our clerks are still responsible for reviewing every document and helping self-represented litigants navigate through the electronic filing process. We also have court staff who schedule all of the proceedings, court reporters who maintain the official record, IT professionals who keep the computers and software running, and court administrators who handle human resources and accounting. We also have more than 200 juvenile court officers. These highly skilled professionals work with children from the very moment that they enter the criminal justice system to determine if the youthful offender should be referred to juvenile court or diverted to informal probation for services to address their needs. These are the people that you may or may not see as you go about your daily work as attorneys. There are also 245 judges and 146 magistrates who work hard to deliver justice through the decisions that they make to resolve the disputes Iowans bring into the courts. As Chief Justice Warren Burger said 45 years ago, concepts of justice must have hands and feet or they remain but sterile abstractions. The hands and feet that we need are the efficient means and methods to carry out justice in every case in the shortest possible time and at the lowest possible cost. This is the challenge to every lawyer and every judge in America. During its last legislative session in 2016, the General Assembly initially appropriated the same amount of funding as the judicial branch received the previous year, more than $5 million short of the amount needed to maintain what was our current level of services to Iowans. Just last month, the legislature and governor further reduced the judicial branch budget by an additional $3 million. Unfortunately, this means some very difficult decisions have had to be made. We established a hiring freeze for all vacancies in the judicial branch with few exceptions, which has resulted in our 111 vacancies throughout the court system. We also held open 12 judicial vacancies for an average of six months and reduced travel by 10%. Finally, with last month's deappropriation, we scheduled one court closure day for May 26th. We have heard how these cuts affect you, but a news reporter from Clinton went to court one day to see how the cuts affect Iowans who use our courts. His February 1st, 2017 article entitled Lack of Judges Backs Up Court and Racks Up Costs. DeWitt Observer editorial Tom Pintora wrote, on a single day, here's what happened, or perhaps more accurately, didn't happen. In Clinton County District Court, only one judge was available, and he was tied up in a civil jury trial, so a number of criminal cases could not be heard. That meant a prisoner scheduled for sentencing 
had to have his hearing postponed for a week, sending him back to the county jail. A probation revocation hearing had to be postponed for 30 days. No plea hearings were conducted. A crime victim took the day off of work to attend a sentencing, as did members of the defendant's family. But the sentencing was delayed, causing everyone who traveled here to take the day off for no reason. And a county had to forfeit bed space that had been reserved for an offender at a residential correctional facility. Clinton County officials say the inaction is a result of a judge shortage caused by inadequate state funding for the judicial system. For the next fiscal year, FY18, if the legislature appropriates to the judicial branch the same amount of funding as allocated in FY17, the impact on Iowans will be significant and devastating. As in 2009, that level of underfunding could result in closing or a reduction of courthouse hours in our courthouses, layoffs, fewer court service days in rural Iowa, significantly reduced face time between at-risk uh, children and juvenile court officers, the elimination of specialty courts such as drug courts, dr uh, mental health courts, and other specialty courts, and delays in civil litigation because of priorities will need to be given to criminal cases. You, you can help prevent these costs. Talk to your legislators. Tell them that the Iowa Judicial Branch provides critical and unduplicated services to Iowans in all 99 counties and that we are good stewards of taxpayer dollars. Tell them that you have seen the courts run as efficiently as possible and all court employees are trying to maximize <coughs> efficiencies of technology. Tell them the judicial branch appropriation is only 2.5% of the state's general fund budget. Finally, let them know that the services provided by the judicial branch to Iowans needs to be a priority in this state. This judicial session the Judicial Branch budget is requesting $194 million. This amount will fund employees needed to provide justice to all Iowans in all 99 counties, fund only the second judicial salary increase in almost a decade, fund the current number of specialty courts, fund the essential day-to-day -day operations of the Judicial Branch IT division, just to name a few areas. Please, please make an effort to talk to your legislator to remind him or her, as Chief Justice Berger reminded us, that concepts of justice must have hands and feet or they will remain sterile abstractions. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for our legal profession and our system of justice and for the services that you provide Iowans. Thank you.